Hello! In this episode, I'd like to talk about Ebbinghaus's forgetting curve. Back in the late 1800s, Professor Hermann Ebbinghaus was studying a lot about memory and retention, and he wanted to know how to improve retention over time. So what he discovered was that memories weaken quite rapidly, and they, there's a sudden drop over, immediately after the learning experience. And that has a lot to do with the way that we make the learning mean something for us. So how well we're able to make meaning from the learning and attach it to other things that we already know. He also discovered that the way that the information is presented and whether it matches our learning styles has a big impact on our ability to memorize it. And finally, he discovered that stress has a huge impact on learning and retention because the more stressed we are, the less we're able to use our prefrontal cortex and the parts of our brain that are important with memorizing and retention. So what he did was he did a number of experiments to find out how to improve this. And it was interesting to see that in 2015, another team replicated a number of his experiments and found very similar results. So what he discovered was that it's all about spacing the learning in smaller doses and reviewing regularly over time. For example, after a learning experience, it's really important, perhaps the next day, to review the material and ask yourself, what have I retained? What have I remembered from the learning? And then to review the notes and the materials to boost that memory and remember all the stuff that you did learn. And then about a week later, do a similar exercise. Ask yourself, what have you learned? What have you retained? And go back to your notes and review the material. And then finally, after another month or so, ask yourself the same question. Go back, review the material, ask yourself, what have you retained? <clears throat> and then over time, regularly review. Again, a good time to do it is six months after the learning so that you're embedding the learning and each time you're improving the retention and making sure that you get real value from the learning. So what I'd like you to do is to consider as a manager or as a learner is if you're doing any learning to regularly review the material because otherwise your brain will not be able to retain it. And if your people are doing learning, regularly review the material with them so they're able to retain it and you're ensuring that they're doing the reviews because it's often too easy to be too busy to do this review process. And yet it's so fundamental to getting a return on investment because when it comes to learning, stay curious.